I love traveling the world. Meanwhile, the world. We've got California, Florida in the Northeast, mostly Western Europe with pockets of Africa. This is so accurate. Morocco, obviously just the pyramids in Egypt, just the big cities in Norway and Sweden. Of course, just Istanbul and Turkey. There's Dubai in the Middle East, Japan, South Korea, Thailand, and of course, only these spots in Australia. I mean, this is... This is too accurate. You know what, just to spite this, I'm going to Uzbekistan right now. How different countries would solve the Israel-Palestine conflict. For the Netherlands, they would just uh, reclaim land, reclaim the sea. Panama would suggest building a giant canal for uh, kind of no reason, although the borders are a little bit more well-defined. Albania would suggest putting Israel here, Palestine in green, and then giving the rest to Albania. North Korea, who would just, uh, I think just nuke the whole thing. Chile would give the green to Palestine, the blue to Israel and the pink to Chile. They have to have literally all the coastline. And finally, Argentina's solution to the conflict, Israel in blue, Palestine in green, the UK in red, and Argentina in yellow. They'd suggest giving all the yellow, I guess, to Argentina. Wait a second, that's not in the Middle East. Wait, that's the Falkland Islands off the coast of Argentina. Well, thank you for that input. A Brazilian's opinion of every country on Earth. Here are countries with an interesting story, culture, and always have wonderful people. And here is Argentina. So there are just just two camps, um, you fall within one of those categories to this Brazilian. But would you look at that, Brazil does give the Falklands to Argentina. They can't dislike them that much. Ah yes, the squirrel to human ratio by state map. How many squirrels will you have to fight when they take over? It's not a question of if, only when. If you're living in any of these deep red states, there are more than 21 squirrels per human. That means each one of you will have to kill at least 21 squirrels. Do you realize how hard Hard that's gonna be? These things are literally assassins. In the slightly less red places like Oregon, Utah, Nebraska, and Kansas, you have to kill at least 20 squirrels. 11 to 20, somewhere in that range. Of course, in the more populated parts of the US, there are a lot more humans, so you have to oof a lot less squirrels. Unless you're Hawaiian, then you are safe from the massive squirrel threat. I don't think I'm ready for this day to come. A map of where all the Roman coins have been found in Australia. Oh, huh, that's weird. There seems to be nothing here. Looks like the Romans were pretty organized in this continent. They didn't lose their wallets or anything like they did everywhere else. Who would have guessed the parts of the Roman Empire in Australia was a lot more fiscally responsible. A map of Africa, but it's actually math. <laughs> I thought I finally escaped this forever. I haven't thought about x equals 2 in at least 10 years. If we start doing math maps, I'm literally going to throw myself into a volcano. Map of all the countries where Red from the Angry Birds movie is voiced by the current president. Wait, what? Zelensky voiced Red from Angry Birds? I'm guessing this is in the Ukrainian version, right? Yes, this was in the Ukrainian dub, but yep, there he is right there. Every time I see this guy now, I'm going to think he is single-handed fighting all of Russia. Was the Angry Birds video games just preparing us for war one day? Why do all these countries have pet islands they like to play with when they're bored? Obviously the US has Cuba, but there's also China and Taiwan, India and Sri Lanka, Russia and Crimea, UK and Ireland, and finally Turkey and Cyprus. Everyone's just jumping on the bandwagon. I feel like once the world saw one country have a pet island, everyone's like, oh I want that too. Even if it is just to like literally fight the Pet. I think we actually left one off the list. Yo guys, everyone in the Middle East has just been given a country in the 3 million 17 state solution. Ah, the good old Holy Roman Empire strategy. I forgot to consider them in all this. We did it once, why not again? I'm just joking, please, God, no. <laughs> I can literally hear the screams from all the geography experts having to learn all the 3 million new countries. Ah yes, the ultra rare zero state solution instead of the one or or two state solution, how about we go back to the prequel before all this happened? I'm sure they probably would not mind doing this. Yo guys, um, quick question. Why does North Centennial Island have street view? What? We only allow an uncontacted tribe to remain on that island. Um, what's going on? Ah uh, yes, things to do on North Centennial Island. Leave. Which European leaders would my dad be in a fight? My 
dad would be your dad's ass. We're breaking the countries down in terms of the head of state and head of government. My dad's definitely beaten up everyone in the British Isles. That's definitely no question. In France, only the head of government. Well, that's because she's an old lady, but he's not beaten up Macron. In Belgium, my dad would probably get beat up to both. There's probably some backstory to why, but I'm not sure. My dad is absolutely not beating Putin in a fight. He was a KGB dude, so uh, yeah. And we need a world map version of this. Who's gonna beat up Joe Biden? Or maybe a better question would be who couldn't. This is bringing to my attention the current Serbian president is literally Andre the Giant. My dad definitely has no chance here either. Why is the border between England and France visible from space? That is so insane. It's almost like England is an island. Everyone's always having the what is a continent debate. Well, here's continents according to FIFA, the giant soccer organization. So FIFA has a pretty normal American division between North and South, although there are three spots that I don't know why these fit in the North. According to FIFA, Kazakhstan is in fact European. Let's go. I've been saying that for a long time. Africa seems pretty straightforward. Wait, Israel's European? Turkey is not Asian. Turkey is also European. And here's all of Asia. By the way, Australia is an island again. I agree. But they don't believe in my philosophy in Oceania. They just say, I, I don't know what this is. Why do they get their own division over here? This is like four, five, six countries max. Is Greenland just not legally allowed to play soccer? Countries where it's legal to reincarnate without government permission. Being from California in the US, I guess if I reincarnate as a snail, I'm going to jail. Wait, I think I said that wrong. We are allowed to reincarnate. China bans unauthorized reincarnation incarnations. Keyword, unauthorized. So you can, as long as the government says you can. Bruh. In order to try to limit the power of the Dalai Lama, China has banned Tibetan monks from reincarnating without government permission. Technically, the current Dalai Lama will not be allowed to reincarnate without approval from Chinese authorities. But why? I wonder if certain reincarnations are okay while others are not. Can I reincarnate as a capybara? What this European perceives as the South in the US. It's so funny how bothered people are going to be by this. I too am bothered. But technically, he's not wrong. Like, like it is. It is the southern part of our country. However, whenever you just Google the South, um, it's a lot more defined. Like, California and Arizona are never popping up. Sometimes I'll see New Mexico. But even that, I'm, I don't know if I agree with that. If you didn't know, when Americans say the South, there's a really huge cultural aspect to that. It's not really a geographical term. <laughs> Civilizations, according to this dude. You always know it's gonna be a horrible map when it mostly just follows current modern day borders. So we have the Western civilization. We got a couple places that got real lucky hungry. There's the Orthodox civilization, the Latin American civilization, the Muslim and African civilizations. Oh, they have to also include all of Indonesia and parts of the Philippines. So they are dividing some countries up, but this still looks so horrible. The Hindu and Confucianism civilizations, and then just the Japanese. <laughs> What? Oh, Australia fell into Western as well. Is this some sort of Civilization 7 that's gonna come out or something? Who would win this hypothetical war? In the indigo, we have the anti-Ohio alliance. And in the red, we have Ohio. Or what's at least labeled as Ohio. That's actually West Virginia. Man, I just don't know. Who would win this hypothetical war in a total all-out war? The US or the anti-US alliance? I just love how Greenland is no data, as always, as they always are. They're not sure what side they want to be on, but uh, they're not even sure, I think, of anything, to be honest. Who would win this hypothetical war? We have in green Eastern Europe versus in red Western Europe. I know this is a poop post, but I am actually very, very curious. We need to overlay this with one of those population density maps. I think Paris is kind of falling into the Eastern European side, so is definitely London. Dublin's in the East. I think Spain's pretty well divided with Madrid kind of in the West and Barcelona in the East. I think this is a dub for Western Portugal. I think this is a dub for I don't, I don't even know if Italy. Western side for Germany. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's actually gonna give me a, a brain aneurysm. I kind of want to go through each and every country and at least try to figure out which side would win, like which side is more powerful economically, what side has more population. And then once you do that, you can do like a one and a zero and a one, and you could do like a tournament style. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, look, people actually want to see this. Like this was a joke, but <laughs> this is actually interesting. Does it start off with a civil war first between each individual country, then that team goes 
into like a tournament mode to fight the rest of the, the world. Red is more industrialized. One thing's for sure, Red is definitely winning in Norway. There is nothing up here. Who would win this hypothetical war? I love how just completely random this is. Like, why? The least populated part of Canada versus, yeah. Red is pretty formidable though, with India, China, and all of Russia. Also the Koreans and Japanese. Red just has like random spots, just like Greece and the Balkans. I don't, I don't even know. The China-India infighting destroys Red before they can win a battle. After all humans died, civilization restarts from the seas. Ah yes, the United Sea Cucumbers up here with their capital, Cucumbria. There's Fishland, Herring, Crabia. Why is it called sticks? Jellyfish land. That's definitely going to burn. Cod Republic. Octopus. Dolphin stan. I actually want to see this. Whale stan and seal -y stan. Why are the why, the Mediterraneans just stan land? The thing is stan is actually supposed to mean land. So why is it called stan? Whatever. East Dolphistan, occupied by Sharkistan. These dudes are just trapped in the Caspian Sea. Oh, Sharkistan is the Red Sea, meanwhile, Latmeria is the Persian Gulf. Honestly, my money is on whatever the Orcas have. The Orcas will dominate. How to say, I don't know, in European languages. Obviously, in English, we have, I don't know. Ireland, who speaks English, is, I don't know. There's a lot of English speakers in Germany, so it's, I don't know. Same with the Netherlands. In French, they say something in French. I, I don't know what that is. I don't speak. Spanish, so I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it means I don't know though, but I don't know. Then there's all the Balkans. I don't really know what I'm reading here, and um, I guess this is how you say it. So confused. Apparently this is just the universal language though. I can go to any of these places and just say I don't know, and they're gonna be like, yep, we don't either. Who would win this hypothetical war? I'm assuming it's a total all-out war. The North American plate, the African plate, the Eurasian plate. Wait, is this a war between plates? All plates on Earth become sent and then get into a battle. It depends on which one's gonna be more durable. Man, there sure are a lot of plates out there though. Side note, why not just add plate? If all these other places are called plate, there's no there's no plate here, just Arabian, or could they not fit it? Same for the Philippine. If there was actually a war, I think my money would definitely be on the Pacific plate. They've got like a whole 12 people living out here. That's unstoppable. Who would win this hypothetical war? We've got the red team, the scarlet team, the vermilion team, and the USSR. Man, these teams are divided so evenly. It's almost like they're just all one big place. I can't even, I can't even tell. I seriously cannot see who would be the winner. I, 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 I can't see. Want to know how big Texas really is? This is actually mind-blowing. I don't get it. That's Europe inside of Texas. Texas isn't actually that huge. This just makes me feel bad. You just put this poor person on blast. I could do this to like 25 of my friends right now. They'd have no idea. It's... It <laughs> It's easy in the U.S. And big thanks to the patrons. Drew, I'm your dad back with the milk. Look outside. John Denver. Luxembourg lover. I can't sleep without Drew's voice. Aaron F. Amateur archaeology. Fat Carmel Norwal. S. Frederick Tiblin. Good ol' Ryan. Inquisitor Jack Trane's annoying friend. Let me know is ten. Best Robert Ryan. E. The Pie. The Great Sebby, if you hear this, the I love you. And why am I doing this?